Hi friends, this video is not going to be so edited. It's going to be more chill. Just you, me, installing Repack. I'm going to walk you through all of the steps and make sure to show all of the process so it's clear. And for this sample, we're going to be installing these scripts that I talked about in my last video. Um, all of these. We're going to be installing Repack and all of these scripts. And the first step to install Repack is going to repack.com, this website right here, it looks like this. And on this right section, you can find the downloads. You just need to select your system. In my case, I'm doing Mac. And in here, it's gonna open this window and I highly encourage you to donate to this amazing project. But if you can't, you can select, not this time, take it directly to the download. And you're gonna get this file right here. This is the file that you get. And yeah, it depends on your system, but yes. Now, all we need to do, go to Reaper and go to Options. And in here, select Show Reaper Resource Path. And this folder is gonna open. This is your Reaper folder. Here's where all your Reaper files are. And now we just need to put this file inside of the user plugins folder of Reaper. And it's just as simple as clicking and dragging into this user plugins folder. So once you have that in here, just open Reaper back again. It's gonna start opening. And now this window shows up. And if it doesn't, and you're on Mac, you probably need to do a few more steps if you go to the user guide in this website, uh, you will see this note. For users of Mac OS Catalina and Awards, you get this permission thing that you need to do. So yeah, Mac users, beware of this. Uh, if your Windows, should be fine. So now we got this window in here, right? And if you don't see this window and you have Repack installed, let's actually find it ourselves. You will see this little extensions menu now. You click on it and it says Repack. And then we can do Manage Repositories. And you will see this window back again. Now in this window, it's gonna show you all of the default repositories. There's way more than this, but these are just the default. And I recommend um, checking them all and installing them all. A quick way to do this is going into Options and clicking Install New Packages when synchronizing. By enabling this and then pressing OK or Apply, it's going to start downloading all of these scripts. So as you can see, I'm going to hit Apply. And now this should start downloading and installing all of the real scripts. And it might be like a huge number, like 3,800, and you may think that your Reaper is going to be bloated or something. Um, don't worry, it's you won't even notice it. It's just scripts, they're just tiny files. Okay, so this got installed, it's all fine. It will show you a little change log every time. So you just need to press OK. You're back to this window. Okay, once you have Repack installed, the next step is importing whatever repository you need. Sometimes in my tutorials, I say import this repository or import this other one, but most times, you don't need to do this. Most of the times it's the default repositories that we just installed. So these scripts should appear in usually in the actions menu. You will see them all in here. So all you need to do is just find them in here. But sometimes I will give you some repositories to install. In this case, I need you to install FTC scripts and Bird Bird scripts. So these are two different repositories. It's usually a link that looks like this. So all we need to do is copy this link. So let's do FTC first. I'm gonna copy this link and we're gonna go to Reaper, Extensions, Repack, Import Repositories. And we can do this. And actually we can do several repositories at the same time. So let's do that to save time. So we can grab this other one by Burbert, copy that, 
and put it in this other line. It can be one per line. Um, you can do it one by one or like I'm doing right now, doesn't matter. So we're gonna press OK. And that's gonna start downloading and installing all of the scripts. So now we got all of the scripts and to find them, you'll see them in the actions list. So for example, maybe we want to see FTC MS Tuner, MS Tuner, like this. Now, if we run this, it's gonna say, please install this. And we actually have this installed. We don't need to install anything. All we need to do is restart Reaper. As you remember, we got a message that says some of these um, scripts won't work if we don't restart Reaper. So we need to restart Reaper. And I just close it and open it again. I got this choose language. Uh, just choose English or whatever you need. Load always. So go to actions, MS Tuner. So now it should work. So run, and there you go. Now, a lot of people were asking me how I was moving my Media Explorer over there. So yeah, this little tab, well, when you load the Media Explorer, uh, the shortcut is Control, Alt, Ads, to bring in the Media Explorer. You can right click anywhere in here and select Dock Media Explorer in Docker. And usually this will dock somewhere in the project. So this little tab in here, this little tab, you can move around. Um, and then for it, Emmet's Tuner, which is right here, I docked it this way. I right click on it and window, dock window. And this put the MS Tuner over there and it looks all funny. So we need to put this one. We want to put it under the Media Explorer. And here's the trick. You hold Command or Control while dragging. And you will see this little line right here at the, at the bottom in the corner. You drop it in there. And now it will drop in the corner. You just have to hold Control or Command. Um, while you do it. So this other script update utility should be there as well. So you can run it. And if you go to the actions menu, you, yeah, you can find all of the scripts in here. And now for global sampler, that's another different story. Um, for global sampler, the way it works is like this. First, you need to go to the Actions menu and type Global Sampler. You're going to click on Global Sampler and hit Run. And if you don't have SW as extension, you're probably going to get this message. And this one is just as easy to install. It takes even less time. Um, so if you don't have it, it's a really quick install. It works the same way. You find your system, um, in this case, this one. And then you drop this file into the Reaper resource path. So I'm going to show you how I do that. It's the same thing. Go to options, show Reaper resource path, go to user plugins. And in here, click and drag this into here. And now we should have the SWS extension. And yeah, we should probably restart again. As you can see, this is not the most exciting video, <laughs> but I just wanted to walk you through all of the process because it might it might get confusing. So hopefully this is clear. So it's usually those two extensions are the ones I recommend the most to get for Reaper. Repack and the SWS extension. You get a you get tons of features and yeah, a lot of really cool things you can do with this. So now let's actually use Global Sampler. For Global Sampler, we click on Run, and it's going to run. Now it's going to say insert the Global Sampler JS effects plugin to start recording. Now this comes with a plugin, and you will find it in your effects browser. 
if you type global sampler like this should appear and if for some reason it doesn't appear you right click and scans for new plugins so click on add and now this is going to be recording whatever is on this track so it works on the track that you are putting in it so in this case i'm recording everything on this track however what i recommend instead of putting it on a track or a bus or a master track i would recommend you to put it on the uh, monitoring effects chain and you can do so by going into view and there's this monitoring effects this is basically an effect that is going to be always there globally for all of your projects. So that means you don't have to um, place this effect ever again. It's always going to be listening to your whole session. So basically, now that it's on the effects monitoring chain, you will see this button in here. That means it's a plugin running in there. And now it's recording your entire session. So whatever you're doing here, it's gonna show up in here and you're gonna be able to select that and bring that into the project. So yes, that's how Global Sampler works. You can of course customize the theme editor and have different... One thing I forgot to mention and it was a question I was getting is how did I dock how did I put this over there? So you can right click on it and select dock window and then it's gonna be placed somewhere in here. And like I show you, you can hold, click and drag this into whatever position you want, like this for example. And now you should be able to have this on the top. And if for some reason you don't see the little tab, Make sure to make it really big until the tab shows up. And then you can place this wherever you want it, like this. So for example, that's a really cool place by holding control or command. You can place it on these corners. So yeah, that's it. So in recap, we managed to install two extensions, Repack and SWS extension. So those two are all you need, honestly. Um, it takes like under 10 minutes to set up everything, but in the future, it's just so easy because this basically manages all of the scripts for you. So it will um, update them for you and you will be able to install scripts really easily with this. And all of these features in the SWS extensions are really, really good. I have a bunch of videos about this. Um, a lot of my tutorials use either one of these, so yeah, it's just a good thing to have. Um, that's it. I wanted to make this video like this, like no, not many cuts. Um, just for those that are, just so it's clear. So hopefully that helps and I hope you have a wonderful night uh, or day or whatever. And I'm going to go to sleep. Um, <laughs> very tired, but I'll see you next time.